The last time I was in Palestine was a year and a half ago in Bethlehem. And it reminded me of when I was there several years ago back in the 80s, when one could look up at the hills right next to the city in Har Homa, one place where people could actually go to have recreation. Now, they're all settlements all around Bethlehem. And when I left Bethlehem for the last time of my 27 trips there in December of 2019, to learn that 85% of Bethlehem is now under occupation of settlements. What do you do when your home is no longer there? I was in Sheikh Jarrah, which is now being so much elevated 13 years ago when members basically of the same family in the same locale were moved out by settlers from their homes. And so what has been said here before is that nothing new is happening, only it's getting much worse. I spoke with a pre uh, professor at Hebrew University yesterday who was just almost beside herself about what was happening. I never heard her so ineloquent about what was happening. I spoke with a person in Bethany yesterday, right? 60 yards, a football throw to the tomb of Lazarus. And how are things going there, Kifa? Miserable, 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 she said. So this is the human story. And it's time that we start listening, as we've been saying, that the Palestinian people are human beings too. I end up with one last reference. In 1994, I visited Gaza for a few days, my last trip there, and it was out on the beach. For the first time in 25 years, the kids were able to play by the beach and the people were able to go, not being restricted to go maybe two blocks from their home to the beach, which is so beautiful at that time. And it was so memorable about what it meant to feel free, even though it was 1994, and that was before they were all penned in, as they have been in the world's biggest prison. Thank God for the voices that are speaking out. Thank God for the Jewish and Israeli voices that are speaking out against this injustice against the Palestinians. And as a Christian, I remind you that Christians in Palestine are also standing with their Palestinian Muslim brothers and sisters and saying, we are for justice and peace. We want to be free.